Hi, this is Cameron with the Sea Butters channel, and I'm trying to get to the bottom of the thermal throttling issue with the Surface Pro 3 and kind of see what's going on in terms of performance. And <clears throat> how I thought I would do that is by testing uh, Minecraft under a Linux installation and see how that actually ran. <clears throat> so what I'm doing is I'm using my USB adapter because uh, the Linux drivers don't seem to work with the Surface keyboard the, of the distro I'm using. Um, so I've got the Linux distribution here on this thumb drive. And let me show you an easy way to boot from a thumb drive uh, from Windows. So you swipe out, choose settings, go change PC settings, and then choose update and recovery, and then go to the recovery section and do advanced startup. So then what you want to do is choose use a device and then choose USB drive. And that will let you uh, install, well, run something from the from the thumb drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and run a Ubuntu Live CD. Okay, so I finally have the live CD up and running in Ubuntu. We've got Minecraft running, Java installed, <clears throat> and sensor software. They'll be able to tell me the maximum CPU usage that uh, that my processor hits. Uh, so we'll be able to see if if the throttling is more uh, hardware based or Windows software based. So I'm gonna go ahead and and boot this up, and we'll see how well Minecraft works for us. Uh, Create new world. Sure. Okay, here we are. Looks like it's running pretty well so far. Um, let's go full screen on that. It'll let us. There we go. All right. Nice thing is, even though we're in Linux, it's going full uh, 2160 by 1440. And I'm not used to these controls. So, uh, getting about 30 frames a second in a heavily wooded area. 37, 35. So, not too bad. Pretty uh, comparable to what we saw on the Windows uh, environment. Maybe even, maybe even a little bit slower, possibly. No, there's 60 frames a second, so pretty comparable. So we're going to see if this is going to throttle on us. And if, how... We're going to listen to see if the fan starts ramping up a lot more than it would normally. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop out a full screen. Oh, wow. Okay. So the CPU is already at 90 degrees Celsius. Although the back of the machine doesn't even feel that hot. The fan's ramping up, um, so interesting. Uh, it's too bad I don't have a way to see what state. Um, or what frequency the, the graphics are running at. But I'm going to let this run for a little bit so we can see what it's going to do. So if it isn't throttle wasn't throttling before it probably is now. In fact, yeah, it's starting to go about 15 frames a second versus the faster 30 it was before. And I can tell it's starting to chug now. So, um, let's back it out. 
okay the temperature significantly reduced itself but um, okay so even in Linux you can see that I started the game it ramped up considerably up to about 90 degrees Celsius which is uh, quite a bit hotter than you ever, I ever saw Windows get to um, but once it hit that that high power state it then must have ramped off the performance um, and now we have what you see now where the temperature is gradually decreasing because it's uh, it's pushed the performance down and in fact this is actually much worse performance than we saw even in Windows or only run about 14 to 18 frames per second in here probably due to just drivers in general um, so while in Windows you were still able to play you know 30 40 frames a second the drivers aren't optimized enough and it's only going 15 to 20 in Linux at the same clock speeds I would guess but there's definitely some sort of hardware limiter because we're not even in Windows we're not using anything like that it's booting off a thumb drive um, so um, it looks like we are going to have to depend on Microsoft for some sort of um, fix for this performance issue in, in games unless uh, uh, I know some people have been playing with throttle stop and uh, working with undervolting with the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility but uh, we'll have to see what they come up with um, I'll be playing around with that as well and, and report any findings I get but um, you can see on that graph it basically proves that this is all hardware related so um, the, the funny thing is on the back of the uh, surface it's not hot I mean I've had laptops that get hot like really hot and uh, this doesn't get hot at all I mean it's slightly warm to the touch I think unless uh, unless there's components by the processor that can't get super hot um, I don't think there's any reason they couldn't come out with a firmware update that would allow um, it to get a little bit hotter. Maybe they maybe they have a performance mode toggle that they could throw in there that adjusts the thermal limit up, you know, 10, 20 degrees Celsius for those who want a little bit more performance. That'd be nice. I know with the Surface Pro, the original one, they they addressed uh, thermal throttling issues on Surface Pro One uh, through a firmware update. So. Hopefully that's the case. Um, interesting. Um, let me zoom in again. So you can see as I let this game kind of play out, you can see the temperature ramped up again. That must have reset the, the thermal limit when it got cool enough and it's, it's bumped back up and the performance in the game is now uh, is now higher again as well um, although probably not for long you know so anyways uh, that's some interesting uh, nuances with the Surface Pro 3 um, hopefully we can get some better gaming performance out of it so uh, thanks for watching I uh, hope this video hasn't been too long or boring kind of just a discovery video on on what's going on with thermal throttling on the Surface Pro 3 thanks for watching subscribe